time in your life away. For like the fifth time. <laughs> Airplane noise does not even register on his radar. We got our rigs and I got my waiver signed and all updated and we're ready to go for a recurrency jump tomorrow. Are you and nervous? I am a little nervous. Is your heart in your throat? Not yet, probably tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow my heart will be in my throat. You'll be like breathing in the airplane. Especially when um it's kind of windy. Especially when I look out the door, it's gonna be like, oh my god, I can't remember how to do this. Anyways, as you can see, the little man isn't phased by it at all. There we go. So, my last jump was a year ago, one year, exactly. 365 days of boredom. And it's my 297th jump. Mark forgot to hit record. I, sh I was shooting like a 30 minute time lapse of you packing your canopy and I didn't hit record. How's this packing thing going on? It's hard. My fingers are really weak. I'm not used to pulling rubber bands. Why do my risers look so high? That's normal, right? <laughs> my toggles look really high up. Yeah, because you have shorter risers because you're short round. Yeah, I don't know. You're like four foot just... seven. I always six. thought it went down there, but I guess I'm imagining things. I'm not four foot seven. <laughs> Come on. Oh, don't, don't do it. Are you nervous? Yeah. I just want to bring him with me. Nice mom bod, by the way. 10 weeks, huh? Yeah, yeah, shake it. But my boobs are too big for my rig. <laughs> The USPA guidelines for recurrency jumps say you should receive refresher training appropriate for your skydiving history. Obviously if you have 10,000 jumps that's going to be different than if you have 35 jumps. They say for A license holders after 60 days you're not current. You need to do a recurrency jump. For B license that's 90 days. For C and D licenses that extends to 180 days. If you have left the sport for a year or more, you should receive thorough training. So, we went over a check of threes, your gear check, your three handles, three ring release, and your three straps, uh, two leg straps, one chest strap. We went over spotting, making sure you're in the right spot, and jump run, positioning yourself to track horizontal to jump run and not up and down jump run. We went over ground speed and exit delays, making sure that we're in the right exit order in the plane. Um, we also pulled a little high at 4,000 feet and had Amber do some practice flares. Number one thing, uh, practice emergency procedures many times, just in case. If there's been any changes at the local drop zone, uh, you got new pilots, different flying styles, jump run is totally different. You should definitely go over those rules as well. As always, uh, I'm, I am a coach, but do not take advice from some random guy on the internet. Go find an instructor at your local drop zone and link up with them if you need to do a recurrency jump. 
Anyways, we had a good time, and we're getting back into it. It's good to have my flying buddy back. <laughs> that was that. My landing needs work. Yeah, nice landing. <laughs> well, it's hard it's to windy too. My arms, I don't know if it's because I'm fatter or my arms are weaker, but oh my god. I was like practice flaring and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, and you better believe beers were had. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.